and welcome back to the Nast Metal Bread Token channel here at YouTube. I welcome to another album of the week. This, of course, is episode number 55. Since Ambush are going to be releasing their third full length album here on March 13th, titled Infidel through High Roller Records, I thought I'd highlight their very first full length album. Uh, Firestorm, which of course uh, back in 2014 was released on May 24th. Now, I don't have to talk too much about this. Uh, what I, I've already said, uh, uh, what I've already pretty much had to say about this album, anyways, here on this channel, I've talked about it so many times. I mean, uh, th uh, to me, this pretty much was my favorite new wave or traditional heavy metal album of the 2010s and this was just all around one of my absolute favorite metal albums of uh, the 2010s anyways i mean i've even talked about how i even got into ambush uh, you know how i discovered them uh, and i've talked about uh, how th this sound basically it basically knocked down a uh, quite a bit of doors for, for, for me. It just it knocked down a lot for, for, for me at the time. I mean, sure, there were a pl I mean, when, when, when talking about many metal albums uh, from the 2010s, I think in many ways this was the album that also really kind of really just head me down that uh, new wave or traditional heavy metal path and, and even uh, maybe open up to checking out a lot more newer. Um, metal bands at the time, a lot more that, that are playing that sort of classic 80s traditional heavy metal sound, and this album definitely did that. I mean, to me, this even uh, what really kind of uh, really propelled this album uh, pretty high with me was that it just sounded like uh, some long lost album from uh, the mid uh, 1980s. It, uh, this is just a great fucking album uh, to me. There's just not a bad song on here. Uh, the presentation is is just fantastic. Uh, I mean, I mean that this ain't a game. Well, this was never a game changing album, but uh, it's just again the presentation, the overall uh, atmosphere and the feel of this album is what kind of just really uh, just just propelled itself uh, to to that sort of a height a level. Just fucking great. Um, and even as for far as skewed musicianship, I mean, yeah, it's not the most, you know, the most technical sounding album. But, uh, to be quite honest, it doesn't have to be. It never had to be. This band didn't have to show, uh, um, you know, technical they were. This was all about just being, I guess you can say simple, but it just had uh, the, um, at least some still good musicianship and the way that everything was just presented is just fantastic i mean I, I don't really have to go on too long i mean i've talked about even how uh oscar jacobson uh of this and uh the, the vocalist how gr uh, as far as new wave or tr uh, traditional metal singers go this guy is up there as probably the, one of the best and most well-trained singers because he just sounds like a million bucks uh, and the way he's able to also push himself to those levels in a way almost kind of once remind of rob halford during uh, the 1970s to 1980s just as that presentation especially uh, uh, trying to compare oscar jacobson's um a vocal performance to like rob halford's vocal performance and like stained class just to where it's like each album he just seems to push himself higher and higher and higher until he reaches that that almost glass shattering performance where it almost seems like you can't get any more higher than this uh, kind of uh, attitude and and uh, overall just overall excellence just great uh, just a phenomenal uh, fucking album there, uh, there's just nothing bad on here I can't I really I can just stop it right now and and be quite honest I think I am gonna, gonna just stop it right here because if there's really uh, nothing else left for me to say about this album what has been said has been said it's a great fucking album uh, I know for sure many of you have probably have checked out this album uh, for any of you that haven't checked out this album I still very much recommend checking out this album and if you're very well interested in checking out their newer album, I think you definitely should go back and at least check out the first two albums, especially this debut. I mean, this is a great, 
example of a good new wave or traditional heavy metal debut or just a great traditional heavy metal debut in general. And again, we're being released to, uh, uh, 20 in 2014, which is basically what, six years ago at this point, maybe five years ago. Uh, it, it still sounds fucking great. I mean, uh, depending on uh, where we're going to be, 10 years uh, after, at least 10 years from now, who knows whether or not if it's still going to be able to stand the test of time, and if it's still able to still stand the test of time, it's still going to very well showcase that Ambush were definitely were a great, uh, you know, a new band. And we're, uh, I mean, of course, coming in within the middle part or of the, or almost during the later portion of that first wave of new wave for traditional heavy metal bands, this was a great sort of way, and it almost, in a way, also kind of helped someone spearhead or kick off that second wave of traditional heavy metal uh, movement that came on within, of course, from 2015, 16, and uh, so on. So overall, this is just a fantastic album, and definitely as an album, I for still uh, recommend uh, to anyone who are at least are a fan of traditional uh, heavy metal. If you're just about getting in to the new wave or traditional heavy metal movement, this is an album I definitely recommend on checking out. It's just one of those I feel is very ex uh, one of those exceptional albums. Is this one of those uh, uh, albums? That you at least still have to hear if you're definitely getting in uh, to this whole genre or movement. I definitely think it's definitely uh, uh, just, you know, albums that you just got, got to hear. It's a fucking great album. Anyways, uh, I hope uh, definitely if you have any thoughts of this album, and I know you for for sure you have, uh, definitely leave them in the comment section below. This every thrash I say I'm out. I'll see you all later, and I hope, uh, and I'm definitely looking forward to the album Infidel. Take care.